Saturday, September 17th, Pitt State football on the road to take on the Truman State Bulldogs. Early in the game, Gorillas trailing 13 0 after a Derek Kuhn field goal for Truman. On the ensuing kickoff, John Thomas fields it at the nine yard line, sprints up the middle of the field, gets around the wall with a nice spin move, and he's going to rumble downfield. 91 yards for the score and a big special teams play for the Gorillas. They're on the board 13 7. The Gorillas would add three points on a 43-yard field goal by Chase McCoy, but things were relatively quiet up until the fourth quarter. Gorillas now trailing 13-10 inside the red zone and Zach Dickey powering across the goal line. He's got his first score of the night and Gorillas lead it 17-13. A few minutes later, Gorillas pin deep in their own territory and Jake Craig back to punt. Truman gets a hand on it, and after the ball pops around near the goal line, Richie Schumacher recovers it for a touchdown. Kuhn would miss the extra point after the score, but the Bulldogs still lead it 19-13. Later in the fourth, one minute and 20 seconds left to go in the game, and Chase McCoy boots a 24-yard field goal, taking advantage of that missed PAT and putting the Gorillas up by one, 20-19. Truman dealing with a long field and not a lot of time on the clock, but quarterback J.B. Clark completes a long pass downfield to Donald Harvey, who looks like he's going to be brought down but laterals it to Andy Mundwiller, who takes it in for six. Less than a minute left on the clock and Bulldogs lead it 26-20. Gorillas do get the ball back and they're in need of a big drive out of senior quarterback Zach Dickey. First and 10 on their own 38-yard line, and Dickey completes a pass to Andrew Castaneda, moving that ball down the field. Next play, Dickey looking for John Thomas, who makes a nice catch and gets knocked down at around the 25-yard line. Gorillas still dealing with that clock. 37 seconds left to go in the game. After a nice rush by Dickey, Gorillas set up at about the 15-yard line, gets it to John Thomas once again, first and goal with around 20 ticks left to go on the clock. Things looking good for Pitt State, but they've still got to drive it in. No time wasted on the next play. Dickey, play action to Wilson, keeps it himself for the one-yard score. And after a Chase McCoy PAT, Gorillas hang on for the 27-26 victory on the road, moving to 3-0 in the conference, giving them sole possession of first place in the MIAA. And although special teams was big, how about that Gorilla defense? Nate Dryling and Chaz Smith both finished the night with two interceptions apiece, a total of four picks for Truman's quarterback, and a big night for the Pitt State secondary. The Gorillas will be back at home this Saturday to take on non-conference William Jewell on Family Day, with kickoff being set for 7 p.m. in Carney Smith Stadium.